Hey guys, back with another great video with another awesome story by Miss Tracy. You're a hostess with the mostest where we bring books to life on what channel? The Read to Me Miss Tracy channel! Woohoo! <laughs> We're back in live and in, uh, live and, we're not jive. Hey, that rhymes. Uh-huh, uh-huh, you, I see what you did there. Thank you for your help. So before we, before we get started on our next book, do me a favor. If you like what you're hearing, give me some comments, make some suggestions of books that you want me to read, because at the library where I get my books from, the St. Louis Public Library, man, we have boo kids books. I haven't even gotten to the teenage books yet, Man, I'm just working on just like the little kid books, like what we're reading with you guys. And you know what? Go to your library and check out some of those books. You don't always have to buy them at, at you know, at some of the other retail stores. Read them at the library for free 99. Return them so that other kids can read them. And if you really, really like it, go and buy it. Yeah, you can do that, you know. Okay, so no more delay. Let's read another story. Ready? Ready. Mm, here we go. This book is called... Quackers. It's by Liz Wong. Ready? I'm ready. All right. Oh, and it's illustrated by Alfred K. Oh, excuse me, Alfred A. Not. All right. Here we go. Meow. Meow. Quackers is a duck. Hmm. Now, Miss Tracy is. Sometimes a little, uh, you know, I have trouble seeing, that's why I wear my glasses. But that doesn't look like a duck to me. Does that look like a duck to you? Don't look like a duck to me. Okay, but we'll keep reading. We'll figure this out. Meow! Quackers is a duck. Hmm, okay. He knows he is a duck because he lives at the duck pond with all the other ducks. Hmm. Yeah, well, okay, but yeah, all right. I'm just gonna keep on reading. We'll figure this out together. You, you'll, you'll help me figure this out. Maybe you understand a little better than I do. And everyone he knows is a duck. Duck, 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 duck. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, looks like he's a cat to me. But I could be wrong. It's not the first time that I've been wrong. But sometimes he feels like he doesn't quite fit in. I know how he feels. Poor Quackers. Look at all these ducks and then here's Quackers. He does kind of stand out in the crowd there. He often has trouble communicating. Meow, 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 meow. Quack. He doesn't care much for the dinner options. Mm, let's see what we've got. Slugs, snails, seeds, worms, algae, duckweed. Not duckweed again. Oh, poor quackers. I think he would probably like cat food or something like that. I don't, I don't know how he thinks he's a duck. Hmm. Most of all, he hates getting wet. Oh man, poor quackers. What are you going to do when you don't fit in? You just can't seem to do things like everybody else. Meow. Then one day, quackers met a strange duck. Meow. That doesn't look like a duck. Looks like another kitty to me. Hmm. Quackers was overjoyed. You understand me. Of course I do. I never met a duck who understood me. Uh, a duck? Wait a second. You think you're a duck? The strange duck, whose name turned out to be Mittens, seemed to find something very amusing. <laughs> Quackers thinks he's a duck. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh 
That's a good one, Quackers. Mittens thought for a moment and said, You better come with me. Okay, yeah, I think Quackers needs to go with Mittens, don't you? Mm hmm. That's where I live. See, they're pointing to the barn. Come on! Quackers had never been anywhere so entirely unlike home. Huh. Instead was a whole flock. Flocks are what ducks and birds and things like that. They live in flocks. Like a whole big group of them, it's called a flock. Hmm. But he's still thinking that he's a duck, so he's thinking a whole flock of other cats. Inside was a whole flock of strange ducks. Ducks just like quackers. Just look at all those ducks. We're cats, silly. We chase mice. Why, more fun than, way more fun than swimming. We drink milk. So much tastier than duckweed. And clean ourselves. Well, this isn't quite exciting, as exciting, but you get used to it. Hmm. Before long, Quackers felt right at home. Wow, you can almost barely pick him out of all the other ducks. Anyway. Hmm. Quackers liked being a cat, but he began to miss the duck pond. He missed the rustle of the wind through the weeds. He missed snuggling under a warm, feathery wing. He even missed the taste of duckweed. This isn't so bad. Really, Clackers? Really? Hmm. And when he arrived back at the pond, he realized that most of all, he missed his friends. Quack, 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 quack. Now, Quacker spends part of his days at the farm, chasing mice. Fun! I don't think it's all that fun for the mouse, though. What do you think? I don't think it's that fun for him. Drinking milk. Yum! And cleaning himself. Mm, this part is still not that great. And part of the pond. Who wants duckweed? Quack, 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 quack. Quackers is a duck. And Quackers is a cat. But most of all, he's just Quackers. And that makes him completely happy. Hmm. What a nice story. The end. <laughs> There's Quackers. <laughs> How'd you like that story? I thought it was kind of cute. You know, sometimes it's kind of hard to fit in with everyone else because you're different. We're all made different, but we just have things in common. Things that I like, like I might like the color blue and my friend or maybe a family member likes the color blue but they may like dark blue and I like light blue. My favorite color is purple. And I have some friends that like purple just as much as I do as well, but they don't like it as much. They don't like to eat purple food all the time. I like to eat anything purple, purple potatoes, purple carrots, purple candy. Mm -hmm. I love purple. Anyway, if you like the story, please hit that little thumbs up button for me. Share it with your friends and family. Read, check this story out at the library or go online and buy it. And who knows? Maybe come on the show and join it with me. Let me know what you think about it. Make a suggestion. I'd be happy to read a story to you. So in the meantime, see you later, alligator in the wild crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. I see you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly.